lower leg. So a couple again um, methods of doing this. You can do the back and the front of the lower leg together if you want, and I'll show you how to do that. Or you can do the calf when we actually work on the posterior leg. So we're going to start off first of all just by doing some senior eminence kneading. So we're going to use senior eminence here. Support the leg with one hand and work down the senior eminence on the inside of the tibia. And again, from a posture point of view, we're rocking through our back leg into our front leg. So again, if we look down at this point, I've got a straight line between, if you look down here, between my shoulder and my knee and my foot. We can do the same on the other side. Onto the other anterior. Again, just stretching the tissues. We can stretch any adhesions away from the tibia. I'm going to lower this couch down slightly. And again, use more of our fingers on fingers. So I need to use more of my body weight. And we can stretch tissues away. So fingers on fingers, start of the bony prominence, and stretch away. We can work along the full length. On the other side of the tibia, we can use some on some and do exactly the same but just rocking away and again back leg drops slightly so you've got that very small movement and our thumbs are protected. We can come all the way along the tibia. At this point if you wanted to we could do the calf or if you thought we wanted to do the calf posteriorly we could then move on to the foot. So what I'm going to do now is show you how I would do the calf in this position. So I'm going to bend my patient's leg. Again, just sit on the toes, just so that there's more stability and he's not moving anywhere. And then I'm going to effleurage the calf. And again, very easy to lose your posture. So what we're looking at is rocking in and rolling back. Rock in, roll back. Rock in roll back. I'm trying to assess the tissues during this, see where any areas of tightness are. One handed assurage, supporting the knee with one hand so it's not moving anywhere, and we can work quite deeply into the calf. Change hands. And the same on the side. We can also, in this position, use our senior eminence again and stretch a little more thoroughly into the anterior fibers of the knee. So that is. And again, both sides. If we want to work a little bit more deeply, we can start now using our fingertips and we can lean in and work through the feathers of the gastrocnemius where we can either do nice long movements, remembering to obviously be careful with your pressure, or if we feel there's more problem areas, we can work more specifically so we can find a little problem area. And if we just lean back slightly, we'll get lovely distraction through there. We can as well separate our fingers and pull the tissues away from each other, depending on what's required. Obviously in between times you may want to use some effleurage and petrissage to ease off the tissue. Take the leg down and now I'm going to go down to the foot. So we're going to effleurage the foot area. Down the top and up the back. Rocking, rolling, rocking, rolling, rocking, rolling. Now we're going to take 
the foot into dorsiflexion flexion or plantar flexion just to help again mobilize and articulate the ankle. So we're going to push in and stretch down into dorsiflexion. We're going to pull back into plantar flexion. Push in, slide down, pull back. So your body weight is pushing forward, sliding down, and then pulling back into plantar flexion. So dorsiflexion, plantar flexion, dorsiflexion, plantar flexion. We can just Carve into the instep. Again, rocking and rolling, and we're using the side of our hand and rolling through towards our hypothema. We're going to use the knuckle area now to work into the face of the foot with a little bit more depth. Again, pushing in with our body weight as we're working. This hand is just offering support. And we're just working into the soft tissues. I'm going to open up the metatarsals now of the foot. So, I'm going to use a towel because of the slip. But primarily what we're trying to do is to stretch the bones to open up the metatarsals themselves. What we're not aiming to do is we're not aiming to slide. So we don't want to create any friction. We want to actually move or open the bones. So we're going to use a towel because it's slippy and we're going to give our towel a little bit of play. We're going to use the length of our thumbs to do the movement, not our thumbs themselves. And we're going to just tuck our fingers underneath the foot to give ourselves a little bit of a grip. Hold on to the tissues and then just stretch open. You can work that in various positions around the foot to open it up. But I say we're not frictioning, we're not causing any rub of the towel on the skin, we are opening up just the bones. So imagine you're breaking a biscuit, just opening the bones. If you want to, you can use a little bit of time just to mobilize the long bones and you can give a little bit of traction to the toes. So if I take that towel off so you can see, so if you want to, you can just give a little bit of traction to the toes. Again, it feels quite nice. Finish off with some effleurage of the foot and then full effleurage of the leg. Any sharp pressure just at the toes, and that's all signified your patient that you finished.